there. Thank you so much for welcoming me back into your beautiful home. I just love it. There's so much air in here mm. and all of your surfaces are very dry. Yes, it's a, it's like, it's like the opposite of a swimming pool. Mm. So I am sitting here before you today because a little he told me that you are in need of some serious R&R, &R, <laughs> aka robots and radishes. No, that doesn't sound right. Rabies and raisins. That can't be it. <sighs> Rocks and racketeering? God, this is so embarrassing. I assure you, I am the highest caliber of professional. It's just... You know how it is with ours. <laughs> Mysterious, elusive little ladies they are. Is it even a real letter? Who can say? <laughs> I don't I don't really know who has the authority when it comes to those kind of things, but um it certainly isn't me. Is it you? Oh <laughs> well, uh you're looking lovely, but uh distinctly lacking in luster, which is perfect. Because today, I'm going to be lavishing you with a variety of luxurious treatments. Yes, and in order to decide exactly what types of treatments to give you today, it is absolutely vital, crucial even, that I thoroughly assess you from head to toe, elbow to elbow, visual to vibe. Hmm. All to determine what type of dinosaur you would be. Let's begin. In your daily life, would you consider yourself to be generally bloodthirsty? Mm -hmm. Such as you're sharing a plate of nachos with a friend or foe. I've shared nachos with no small number of my enemies. It can be a wonderfully healing, bonding experience. Or it can sow the seeds of mistrust even deeper. So, before you know it, there's only one nacho left. How far would you go to ensure that that final chip ends up in your hands? Yes, um, to what lengths would you go? Don't hold back. You can tell me anything. I may be dyslexic and nearsighted and iron deficient, but I ain't no snitch. Oh, you would, you would just let them have it. Okay, okay. Mm. Blood thirst seems to be quite low. Perhaps non-existent even. Great certainly comes as a comfort on my part, given the uh, close proximity we will be sharing today. I have grown pretty fond of all of my blood over the years, so I'm not very eager to part with any of it. I'm, I'm sure you understand. Um, next question. Um, you need something on the top shelf. 
in order to reach it, do you go get a step stool, uh, climb up on the counter, try to knock it over with a all-belong object such as a broomstick or pool noodle. This, that situation has not ever really presented itself. Oh, really? That's pretty cool. Y yeah, me, me neither. I've, I've been able to reach everything I've ever needed to reach. Even when I was a baby, I was a very tall baby. Good to know that both of us are so tall and cool together. We should turn off some ceiling fans sometime. Check out the tops of some refrigerators. Next question. Uh, would you prefer to travel via pogo stick, scooter, or roller skate? Mmm, definitely saw that one coming from a mile away. I know a pogoer when I see one, that for darn sure. A highly coveted compliment, I assure you. Well then, thanks to my extensive research, I have deciphered that you would undoubtedly, indisputably, be a triceratops. Mm-hmm. Did you know that uh, a triceratops's head comprises one-third of its entire body? And they have over 800 teeth. Not trying to insinuate anything here. Uh, I assure you, I find your head to be perfectly proportional. And um, you, do, you do seem to have the optimal amount of teeth in your mouth. You simply have a certain je ne sais quoi about you that one might attribute to a triceratops is all. <laughs> but, uh, you know, if we're going to get real specific, as I have been known to do, you wouldn't be just any old triceratops. No, no, no. You would be one of the real tiny ones. Tiny tops, I like to call them. Yeah, did you know about this? Triceratops had these distant ancestors that were pretty much just like them, but uh, the size of house cats. They kept getting bigger and bigger over time, but originally they were just these little dudes romping around in the grass. All the flowers right there at the height of their mouths, so they were just chomp, chomp chomping away at dandelions and stuff. Yeah, you'd be a tiny tops any day of the week. <laughs> so, uh, now that I've pegged you as a tiny tops, I know just what to do. You better hold on to your socks. <laughs> um, our first step is going to be to clip that lovely hair of yours out of the way. Do you have anything against flamingos? I, I never used to ask about that before, but I've learned the hard way about incredibly specific bird-based resentments. Alright, so, gathering up all of those lovely, lovely hairs of yours. And... Flipping them out of the way just so. These are wonderfully sturdy clips. None of that flimsy, funny business. No. Your hairs are not going anywhere until we want them to. Alright, let's clip, 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 clip. Next, we must examine your face very carefully and closely so I know what I'm working with. No surprises, no jump scares, nothing spooky catching me off guard, okay? It's not right if I come a little bit closer. Alright, thank you so much. Okay, just going to scooch, scooch, and scooch. Alright, alright. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. 
Mm-hmm. Yes, everything appears to be in perfectly normal and lovely condition. I don't see any germs at all, but just in case any happen to be hiding real good, I'm going to scare them away. Don't worry, I'm not talking to you, okay? Why I oughta... You better scram. Whew. Sorry you had to see that side of me. Hope you don't think of me any differently now. Next, I am going to clean up your face with my beauty bubble. This beauty bubble is remarkably sticky, so it is going to effortlessly remove dirt, and dead skin, loose eyelashes, and the other such offensive offenders from your pores. Okay, here we go. Bubble, 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 bubble. Beauty, 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 beauty bubble. we must warm up your face. Uh, this is a quite important step because it's very relaxing. Tonight's treatments are ultimately all about uh, relaxation. Also, it opens up the pores and allows them to fully accept the healing benefits of all the products. It's kind of like how before you give someone a hug, you let them know that you don't have any bats in your pockets or bees. It allows them to enjoy the hug to its fullest potential. You know what I mean? Uh, is today your birthday by any chance? Statistically unlikely, I admit, but can't hurt to ask. Okay, um... In that case, let me just, uh... Da-da-da! Da-da-da! Happy day! Perfectly applicable to 364 days of the year. So, uh... Let's get these bad boys all revved up and ready to go. Do 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 So pleasant. So soothing. Let the flickering flame. Say your girl eats a lot of carrots. A concerning volume of carrots, some might even say. But they just have yet to experience for themselves the bountiful joys of living like a rabbit. I try to adopt the habits of rabbits in all facets of life, actually, not just cuisine. Like sitting still for a really long time. 
digging intricate underground tunnel systems in the dirt, getting in the way of cars, that twitchy little thing they do with their noses. <laughs> Looks cute when they do it. <laughs> Which color face mask do you think you would like? I actually have my own words for colors based off of how they make me feel. Um, this one is agreeable, vigilant, bewildered, itchy, delighted, hesitant, vengeful, and bubblegum. Great choice, that's one of my favorite colors. This face mask is gonna be really good for you because it smells like grapes. So I am going to apply it with the gloves because it has remarkably powerful softening, smoothing effects, which is wonderful for your face, but since I'm applying it all the time, my hands get too soft and too smooth and I can't hold anything anymore. It's just like too slippery, you know? I can't pick things up and when I shake people's hands, they think I'm a ghost or a dolphin. It's so embarrassing. The gloves are too. Avoid such misunderstandings. Okay, here we have our face mask. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, let's, let's get this applied all over her lovely face. So, um, to really encourage the nutrients to absorb into your skin, we must stimulate it, which will be achieved with a few friends of the aquatic variety. Their tentacles are highly specialized for this exact purpose. They work, um, a little bit like this. You're like a cute little clownfish frolicking amongst the enemies. <laughs> okay, next, um, we're going to place these over your eyes for a little bit. Um, they're much like cucumber slices. Pleasant, cooling, depopping effect for your under eyes, but honestly, they're better in every conceivable way. Mm -hmm. I love 
that they are delighted in color and are infused with aloe vera and vitamin C oil. Uh, quite nourishing for the eyelashes as well. Encourages shine and new growth. Right. So, here it goes. How does that feel? Okay, good. So, we're not gonna leave those on for too long because we have some more exciting treatments for you. Regarding my use of that heaped water gun for rinsing purposes, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> so unprofessional. I uh, profusely apologize for my poor judgment. My customers' feelings are the highest priority. So I purchased a brand new professional rinsing device. A tiny water gun. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, are you ready? should do it. Now let's get you all dried off. we are going to be exfoliating your face with snow. The ice crystals really work wonders. So if you'll just give me a moment to bring the snow to life. utilize healing uh, serums and elixirs and such. But my favorite thing to infuse the skin with is actually space dust. It really does not get any better than this stuff. It's what aliens use. I mean, have you ever seen a wrinkly alien? Of course not. They are all so smooth and so glowing like radioactive jello. And we will be achieving that today with my special space dust. Space dust, space dust, space, space dust. Space dust, space dust, space dust.
of it, your treatments are complete. You are positively glowing. But I must seek a second opinion. Consult the expert. <laughs> what say you, Eloise? Are they finished? Uh, she wants to know if it's okay if she takes a closer look. Okay, great. With some additional lighting? Vigilant or delighted. Eloise says she recommends bubblegum, but ultimately up to whatever makes your heart sing. Okay, great. Let's get that clipped into your hairs. Oh yes, this is going to be positively